uh, hi everyone. Uh, it's uh, good to be with you again. Hello, Dwayne. Hello, Charles. We're here. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Uh, Eva just uh, Eva met me on the messenger and asked whether I will be there. Maybe she was worried that the coronavirus had uh, the coronavirus will maybe uh, be a handicap for me to attend. But I said no, I would be there. It's only my internet connection that is really worrying now. I don't understand. Okay, then uh, uh, something caught my attention this afternoon, uh, and I began to wonder whether uh, it is not uh, high time we start vetting some of the pictures or the posters uh, that are put out there. In one of them, uh, your title is almost uh, <laughs> akin to that of uh, Jesus, the King of Kings. So I said, wow, that was uh, that's really uh, something interesting. So I want to Excuse me. I want to ask you what do you think about that then? That title, The King of Kings. I haven't seen that, Charles. Is that a new movie? <laughs> no. It's on mess it's on Messenger. Uh who did that? Um one of the African uh, new friends. Okay, so here's the idea what people will do, okay? They will start building up the personality is what they'll do. And that's not the idea. The idea here is uh, the whole of life, the oleus, uh, and the real guides. Okay, so yes, I'm there too, but the thing is that, no, these things start to get funny. Uh, and they always will. They always have. And so I haven't seen that. Uh, but no, I'm just a Wayne. That's it. I'm just here doing this presentation. And we go to the real side, but we make sense of things while we're here because it is a hard earth. Just like you have, just like they're uh, spreading another uh, deadly disease out there, uh, etc. And it's just marketing. And people accept it. They don't realize it's all been created. So again, that idea, I haven't seen it, but it's silly. It's nonsense. It's not about me. It's about the whole of life. So I put life first, everybody else, because it's all of us. We just stand up. We become more aware. We take the risk to see more, or we just stay the same. That's just so easy to do. But uh, no, it's not about any of those silly things, Charles. Yeah, then because uh, I see uh, some of the posters that they uh, that come out this uh, these days. I know uh, you give uh, everyone the leeway to express themselves, and uh, it's more important that they do something than just uh, stay uh, in a state of inertia. But some of the posters there, some of the images they create <laughs> with such names, you know, uh, it's, it's a bit uh, out of place. So I just thought I should bring it here. Yeah, well, I don't know whether we can have a, a vetting system or some somebody mm -hmm. wants to publish something. At least uh, some other person should have a look. What do you want to put up? Uh, Maybe check it and uh, see whether it uh, conforms to uh, to what you are and what you are uh, and what you are you, you are presenting. That's my opinion. What do you say? That's a little bit of a toughie because then we start getting into the guidelines and all this stuff, or rules and regulations, and we start policing each other and. 
I don't want to do that, and uh, I'm not concerned. Uh, I have no concern in those areas uh, because it's uh, that takes you away from doing something real and beneficial. So, uh, again, I'm going to keep uh, pushing that you know people just uh, decide to do something that makes sense. Look at the world; it's all bad because of the you know the diseases, the poisons, and everything that they're doing, uh, chemtrails, etc. So, uh, you know, decide to do something that makes sense. Uh, again, we're here to become more aware. That's the whole idea. It's not about us personally. So we could, you know, we could, we could praise the birds or whatever. Uh, you know, we could do that all day long. But what's, what's that going to do? So it's about becoming more aware and eventually, uh, you know, freeing yourself from creation. So, uh, yeah, it's... It's going to get funny here, and it's going to get funnier, and you have instigators, too. You know, as, as we're going out there, you have people that will create ideas. I've seen this with other groups or demonstrations or whatever, that uh, the people that want to control us and others, they will, they will infiltrate and create situations also. Uh, so, uh, but, but as you just let it go, you just let it go and just go, oh, you know, that's kind of funny, isn't it? Does that make sense? You just let it go, and that's it. <clears throat> uh, otherwise, yeah, you start to get into the rules and regulations and restrictions, conformity that we have in, on this world, which is, uh, you know, very obvious and obsessive and just out of control. No, that's not what life is. Life is the sun shining. So, yeah, just being real. And again, uh, you know, like the kids and I were doing things, we're um, on our adventure, and um, uh, we have a focus, and, uh, you know, kind of use the community idea, get to, like the Africans and that, get together, do something, have a focus, have a purpose, make sense with this world, and then their real side experiences will come through. Again, it's about becoming more aware so you are capable of doing what you want or having what you want. It's not about begging. It's not about looking to the new presentation or whatever, uh, etc. That's all in the past. We did that. We came up through the God ideas where we begged the authorities and the gods. No. The idea is uh, of the new you is to become more aware with the all is. So you become self-sufficient for yourself. And then you stand real with others that see that also, and you support each other. There it is. It's so cool. That's what the boys do. So that's what Rebus are and the real guides do. So, yes, uh, we're going to get funny stuff here. But, no, um, they don't create rules and regulations. I'm not going to. That's why I didn't want the membership and all that. I don't want to have to tell people that want to stay unaware what to do. I really don't. So that's that's not where it's at. Go ahead. Okay, Dwayne. I knew, you already knew that was the answer. Okay, uh, Dwayne, we have... Um, maybe last time I didn't get uh, a good answer to this question. Uh, <clears throat> uh, the idea that uh, the idea is that uh, the real guides could uh, look at uh, at us as nagging at some uh, at some of the because of some of the things uh, we, we we say or what we do maybe we are insistent. Uh, could there be a rejection uh, because uh, maybe uh, new friends they ask questions or and they repeat again and again it's like uh, uh, talking to somebody who is deaf so there is a saying that if you want something or somebody to uh, uh, so much, there's bound to be some kind of a rejection. 
So uh, can we surmise that uh, the real guys could also withdraw from us because we want to see them or we want to uh, their help in certain situations and we, come, we become so insistent and so repetitive in our, in our, in our demands. So what do you say about that, Dwayne? Well, that becomes interesting, doesn't it? So, uh, well, you have to test things and, um, you know, each situation is going to be a little different and I understand. Uh, and, you know, just like when we're young with our parents, you know, we ask for certain things, etc. And, uh, you know, they don't always just give it to us, do, do they? Or, you know, when the when we're five or six or even ten years old, we maybe we want to drive the car and we beg our parents, you know, for years, but not old enough. And so, uh, but they don't leave us. But maybe they'll go on vacation for a while and, uh, you know, leave you home alone, like the movie. But uh, for the most part, no, life is an isness. This is the best thing. Nobody leaves anybody. It's like the sun, even though there's clouds in the sky, the sun is still there. And so now you know this. So it's not a matter that they come and go or life or anything comes and goes. It's an isness. But at times they will let you be. In other words, just leave you to yourself until you can uh, finally start to see and figure it out. So that can happen too. And, and it's okay. And uh, as we go along, we start to see how this is, that, you know, life doesn't move. Creation is cause and effect. We have movement, motion. We have all these things that uh, are in creation. That's creation. And so the best part of, of the new presentation is, is that, in a way, I have separated what creation is and the real universes and in the past it's all been like stuck together so people think it's all the same thing they think that creation here in the physical whatever it's the real life and because we can feel it uh, you know we go through all these things etc and yes but we're having experience to compare to what is real so until we recognize that so um, yeah life doesn't go anywhere it's a complete isness. Again, focus on that, and eventually you start to see how it is, and little by little you become more aware. So it's not a matter that uh, you need certain things. Yes, you do, but you'll have the awareness to creatively bring them into your life. I look at uh, you know how I uh, was brought up and then how I decided I left home at 17 and went out on my own and eventually a couple years after a couple of years of uh, just going around little jobs whatever I started construction and then I could see potential with that so I really worked hard at it eventually had my own business whatever self-sustained myself same time spread uh, you might say the message in the old days of what Paul was doing etc but uh, you know I took on the challenge of figuring it out not just standing around, but uh, being ready for what's next, you know. So, again, uh, that is the challenge uh, because, again, the, the masses have been, uh, you know, taught to uh, look to authorities, look to their parents, whatever. There are certain individuals that will just go and do things, and that's what life is. It's in the doing. Just figure it out. Don't stand around. Just do something. You know, that's what farmers do every day. They just get up, they do something. You know, whatever it is. They don't have a plan. It's like whatever's next. But we have, uh, you know, city people have little books called planners, all right, which is fine. That's one way to do it. People plan out there, et cetera. But, uh, yeah, there doesn't have to be nagging. There can be questions or whatever. But in a way, the fun part is discovering the answers for yourself, for the most part. So in the beginning, we do ask questions, we do get answers, etc. That's for the personal self uh, to uh, finally, in some way, relate to the real awareness, who we really are, because that's just so much. 
and eventually the all is what life is. But it's all very simple. So, uh, no, nobody leaves anybody, even when people pass over, whatever. They're still here and now, just where you put your attention, if that's what you want to uh, see and relate to. And many people do because they're emotionally attached. Uh, really, that's kind of immature and silly because we're all beings. It's being to being. It's about becoming more aware. It's not about becoming more emotionally attached so that you stay unconscious into future lifetimes where you don't know where you're going. If that makes sense to you, then stay attached. You have that choice. But no, everything's fine. It's always fine once you see, just like the sun shining. It's all okay. <laughs>